ever seen an Afro-Latino on Univision or Telemundo? Do you even know what an Afro-Latino is? For those of you who have never seen or met an Afro-Latina before, now you have. In this video, we're going to address the lack of representation of Afro-Latinos in the Latin American media. People look at us and they automatically assume that they know what we are, but little do they know that we are Afro-Latina. Our family is from Honduras. There's a huge misunderstanding on what it means to be Latino. Latino is not a race. It's an ethnicity and a culture. We have been questioned our whole lives about why we don't look Hispanic. And most Americans don't even know that Afro-Latinos exist. If you watch television in the United States, you can clearly see the diversity that exists within the American community. But go watch Univision and Telemundo and tell me what you see. There's clearly a lack of representation of people of color on both channels. Rarely do you ever see any black hosts or actors on Univision or Telemundo. You only see people of one color, and the wider they are, the more opportunities they get. The majority of Latin Americans are mestizo and indigenous or brown, and you barely even see them on telenovelas. The people you do see on telenovelas look very European, and that's just not realistic. Every day, our families gather around the television watching these programs on Univision and Telemundo, and there are no role models for our younger generation to look up to. They should know that the media controls the way that people perceive reality, and they have a responsibility to reflect the diversity that exists within the Latin American community. If you do see black people on Univision or Telemundo, on the soap operas, they're either maids, gunmen, prison inmates, security guards, or drug dealers. It's sad that this is the image that Latin American children have to look up to. We have the same right to shine on television as anyone else. The time that you do see a good amount of blacks on Latin American television is if you watch soccer games, which is a stereotype. They think that we're good for sports and nothing else. Most Latin American um, soccer teams have a substantial amount of blacks on their team, but when you watch República Deportiva, you don't see any black hosts or models. So we took matters into our own hands, and we decided to get the perspective of other people on this issue. Take a look. My name is Javis. I'm from the Dominican Republic. What were some of the challenges growing up in the United States as an Afro-Latino? I mean, some of the challenges were, um, you know, some people, they might assume, when they see me, especially out from New York, I tell, I tell people I, was, I came from New York, they would surely think that I'm African American. But most of the time, when I start speaking Spanish, I'm like, really? You speak Spanish? Like, what kind of person would just think of speaking Spanish and stuff like that? Why is diversity important in Latin American television? I think diversity is important because you don't want to put that picture of seeing, um, I say, like in one color. You know? You want to see different people from different parts of the world, right. no matter what, all right? You just got to have to keep that open mind or give people that open mind that there's other Hispanics out there. There's not just one. There's other Hispanics who are like white, black, Native American, any, any kinds of Hispanic. You'll right. find around the world and you'll be surprised when you see it. If you could tell the programming directors of Latin American television anything, what would it be? I would say... Yeah, just be open. That's it. Don't put that picture that every Hispanic guy look like one way. Okay. Everybody can look multiple ways, and they're accepted by that way, and they should be. Very few blacks have been featured in telenovelas, but with very minor roles. Like, how do you feel about the roles that they give us? I mean, I mean, it kind of sucks. I wish they could. It kind of feels almost the same way as you see in regular TV between actually white people and black people. It kind of almost seems like that way in like an indirect way, just not giving um, black Hispanics um, the credit. Hi, my name is Christy Douglas and I am from the Dominican Republic. Some of the challenges you had growing up as an Afro-Latino in the United States? Um, one of the biggest challenges is, um, oh, you speak Spanish? And, you know, always doubting me. Oh, say something in Spanish, you know, like, I don't believe you. Like that big confusion in their face, like, oh, she speaks Spanish, she's dark skin though. Why do you think that there are no Afro-Latinos on Latin American television? Um, I guess it's 
appearance was just stereotyping white skin and you have to be a straight hair, you know, look a certain type of way to be in there. How do you identify yourself on government papers? I say I'm a Hispanic Latina. I say what I am and how I was raised and born. Okay. Why is diversity important in Latin American television? It's important because we should be also recognized. Um, just let people know, you know, we also speak Spanish and English and we can stand up and be equal like everybody else. I love being Dominican. I love the food, everything, and I want to be, you know, on the top as well, too, and be recognized as a Hispanic Latina. How do you feel about the roles that they give us? It's, it's to me, it's kind of disrespectful because it kind of reminds me of, you know, African-Americans, how they treat them. Like, you know, why should we be a maid or have a short short character in a, in a telenovela? Why can't we just be the, the main role of something? Like, we can stand out, too. I just don't feel like that's right. Um, what were some of the challenges growing up here in the United States? Um, as a kid, I would get into a lot of arguments because um, in the area that I grew up in, it was very heavily uh, populated in Hispanics. That was very, very fair with, you know, lighter features. So I was like, no, you're not. Mentira, no, you're not. Uh, you're Irish. You're Russian. Uh, because of what I looked like. And uh, that was very frustrating. Identify yourself on government papers. Um, I usually play Hispanic or other... I used to put other too, because I didn't know what to put, and I'd ask my mom. Yeah. Well, how do you feel about, di about diversity in Latin American television? Um, I think that uh, media in general portrays um, a very narrow scope of what we're supposed to look like. Um, and basically, if we don't fall under having caramel colored skin and long, thick, flowy hair, uh, then we're not laughing. If you could tell the programming you know, producers anything, what would you tell them? Um, that there definitely has to be more diversity because not everybody falls under one scope and it's not right. And right. you're basically, you're just, um, you're promoting stereotyping. I think it's important to have diversity on television. Bueno, yo, yo pienso que es una forma de promover la cultura a nivel mundial y, y es, más, es más, como más agradable cuando tú conoces a otra persona de otro país, diferente cultura. Eh, diferentes aspectos, o sea, uno, uno aprende mucho de, de otra cultura. Tell the programming directors of Latin American Television anything, what would it be? Bueno, que tengan diversas personas, como diferentes tipos de personas, diferentes tipos de cultura en, la, en los programas de televisión, en los medios, porque así prom promueve a que más personas vean sus noticias, sus programas de televisión. Some of the challenges you had growing up as an Afro-Latino in the United States? Um, just people believing me. And so I just never really talked about it unless mm -hmm. someone asked. Mm -hmm. And even if they asked, I would just be like, you know, I'm black. I would just not tell them because it didn't, it didn't matter if they weren't going to believe me anyway. Why do you think that there are no Afro-Latinos on Latin American television? I think just the way regular people don't believe it. People that are watching TV may not believe in it as much, mm -hmm. but they would know because they've never put any of us on there. Why is diversity important in Latin American television? Because there's a whole bunch of girls just like us who are growing up in, in actually in the countries, and they have nothing to look up to on TV. The most Spanish person I know on TV right now is Sofia Vergara, and she looks nothing like us. There's gonna, there are so many girls growing up without someone to be like. They, they have to choose between what's given to them in Hollywood, who they want to admire, because everybody wants to admire besides their parents or something like that. And the choices that they are given are unrealistic. You could tell the programming directors of Latin American television anything, what would it be? To be more open minded and to, when you're, look, I guess, looking for your characters, open it up. You know, open just be very broad because I, what's what's so great about having just people on the television show that look the same? Like, if you have some diversity in there, I feel like you would get more viewers. Right. A lot more. Hola, yo me llamo Soraya y soy de Honduras. Because I'm Hispanic, but I'm not Black African American. How do people react when they discover that you are a Latina, and how do you explain it to them? I tell them that the slave ships not only did not only go to the United States, 
they went to Brazil, they went to Jamaica, they went to Honduras. Um, just like black people got here, that's how black people got to Honduras. It's like, wow, magic, isn't it? My family's from the Dominican Republic. What are some of the challenges growing up as an Afro-Latino in the United States? I guess I could say some things I could say would be the fact that um, when people talk to you and they realize that you speak Spanish, they're like, wait, aren't you black? And with me, I consider myself both. I consider, I embrace both of those parts of my heritage. Why is diversity important in Latin American television? I feel that it's important because, because I feel like it would help make, make us feel like, make people feel like maybe we're not so different. My name is Catherine, and I was born in Puerto Rico and raised in the Dominican Republic. What are some of the challenges you had here in the United States? Well, um, I have gone through, for example, I work at Pizza Hut, hmm. and the thing is that um, people don't expect you, just because of course of my skin color, to speak Spanish. So a lot of like Latinos come in and they just stare at me with a very disgusted look and um, they just sit there and they're just kind of like, no, um, I need someone to speak Spanish. And I believe that that is one of the biggest like difficulties that I go through because it's like a most everyday thing. And I just sit here and I'm just like, I speak Spanish, you know, and they, they stare at me in complete shock and they're just like, oh my God, you speak Spanish. How do you feel when people don't know that you're Hispanic and how do you explain that to them? What do you tell them? Well, I feel bad because I believe that people should be more open-minded about it, mm -hmm. especially Hispanics themselves. Right. Like, they, they should know. Like, I mean, I understand Americans and it does kind of bother me. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to explaining to someone, you know, that I'm Hispanic, you know, I just sit there and sometimes I have to prove it to them because they don't believe me. Yeah. So, les, les enseño que yo sé español, soy una hispana, and I'm proud. Why is diversity important in Latin American television? They will get more views, that's the first thing, because there are a lot of them. They'll be like, oh my god, hey, that show, they actually put one of us as, like, their main character. It's something to be, like, proud of, you know, and be like, hey, I made it up there. Right. You know, you give everybody else a chance. You have given so many opportunities to everybody else, but now why not us? Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're all equal. We're all human beings. We're all different. So why can't you give us a chance? I believe that, you know, we, we've... Many of us have come here for an opportunity. This is a call for a change. The only explanation for this disparity is discrimination. As you can see, we aren't the only ones who feel the need for diversity, and I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who feel the same. For 10 years, I've been calling and writing Univision and Telemundo, asking them why they don't include blacks on their programming. Telemundo told me that well, it was because of the ratings. Well, what is that supposed to mean? That when you have blacks, your ratings go down? And when we asked Univision what their excuse was, uh, they said that it was because programming came from Mexico. Well, I don't know what that means, but Univision needs to be aware that their audience is racially diverse, whether they like it or not. If you notice, Latin American television copies a lot of American shows like cooking competitions, singing competitions, sports entertainment, and beauty pageants. But they have yet to copy the diversity that we see on American television. So obviously this perception of colorism is coming from Latin America, and it's time to stand up and get rid of it. It is disappointing that the executive directors of Univision and Telemundo are aware of this disparity and they aren't doing anything about it. It is a shame that Latin American television has denied us of these privileges. We have many beautiful, talented, and intelligent people in the Afro-Latino community, but we're not given the opportunity to shine because of our skin color. We live in the 21st century, and it's about time we let people know that we're here and we've been oppressed for way too long. 
It is time to change this discriminatory attitude. Don't be ashamed of who you are or where you come from just because other people don't understand. Don't settle for a category society gives you. Educate others and let them know. We want to see more people of color on Univision and Telemundo. We call it Proyecto Más Color. To show your support of Proyecto Más Color, you can like our Facebook page and sign our petition to promote more representation of people of color on Latin American television. So comment and let us know how you feel. This is the time to educate, not discriminate. And together, we can make a difference. So subscribe. Join us on Facebook and Twitter. And we have more videos to come. Gracias. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.